What's up? Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? Let's be serious. Serious now. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing, reviewing? Initial review, I guess you could say, for the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Now, normally, personally for me, I use a $7 foundation. Not gonna lie. Normally what I use is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup in the color Cappuccino N8. Literally $7. And I thought, you know, maybe it's time that I upgrade to a better foundation. And I'm not talking about no $100 foundation. I'm talking about, I think this was like $28. 28 or 23? I think it's $28, which is not that bad. So the color that I have picked up is the number 24 golden and I matched my color because you know when you go into like Ulta, Sephora and all that and you swatch it on your hand it looks good and you think that that's your color and then you get home and it's not your color. So what I did was I went and picked up this one out of Ulta and then just tried to match the two together which they're kind of similar but kind of not. Now that I've gotten it home, I think that this one may be a little bit too light for my skin color, but we shall see. It's supposedly for people that have warm undertones, and it also has a concealer in it, so you don't need to apply concealer and then apply it uh, on top of that, or at least that's what I'm assuming. Um, as far as the foundation goes, I believe it is a semi-matte foundation, so if you're somebody who likes a really, really matte foundation I don't think that this is going to work although it might be very matte I don't know we'll have to find out together but yeah I've already done my eyebrows as you can see and I haven't done anything else I'm going to go ahead and apply this and let you guys know what I think and then I'm gonna go around run some errands for the day and then I'll be back I might update while I'm running my errands on how the foundation is holding up but if not, I'll come back and let you guys know what I think of this. And yeah, let's let's just get started, shall we? So this is the applicator. It's like a really big doe foot applicator, which I can appreciate because this uh, L'Oreal one, you have to pour it out and then put it on your face, which can be a bit messy, but this you just go directly onto your face, which is really nice. And it looks like it's a lot of product in here. How much? It's one fluid ounce, which I think is pretty standard, but it looks like a lot, so. It looks really orange or red or something on camera. I don't know. Hopefully it blends out. I'm just gonna use this brush right here. Yeah, looking at this in the viewfinder, this does not look like my color at all. But in the mirror, it looks like it matches my skin tone. Look at that. Look at that. Lord have mercy. So what I can say from applying this is that it is very thick in consistency. I don't think that this would have blended out very well using a blender, beauty blender. That's just my opinion. But like I said, on camera, I don't know if it looks different to you guys, but what I see in the viewfinder, it looks like it doesn't match my skin tone. It looks like it's slightly off, but yet in the mirror, it looks like it matches. So it could just be the lighting. I'm gonna do an outside shot once I'm done. So yeah. And I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but I do have a little like uh, dark circles on my face, like a little bit of discoloration. Discoloration? Dis discoloration? Yeah. A little bit of that and I could still see them slightly but not as much so that is a plus if you are looking for a full coverage foundation this one uh, is pretty 
pretty full coverage. So now I'm just going to finish my face. I'm not going to do like the whole uh, highlight and contour and all that because that's not what I do every day. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to y'all like I be glammed out every day when I walk, step outside of my house. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do my basic makeup routine and then I will come back and let y'all see what it looks like. final face um like i said i just did my basic everyday makeup if you're interested in what i used on my face i will have everything down below for you so you can go check it out and i'm going to go ahead and get dressed and go along with my day and i will check back in with you guys later and my outfit of the day if you were wondering is this adidas uh sweatshirt crop top my top shop jamie jeans and then my rihanna fenties and yeah let's just go out and focus focus on my face let's go conquer the day this is what it looks like in i guess outdoor lighting i'm in my car right now obviously going to pick up some iron supplements because my iron levels have dropped that's why i don't know if you saw on the clips uh, my lips were discolored they were darker and pink and all that stuff it's because my iron levels have dropped so I'm heading to GNC right now to get some iron supplements, but this is what it looks like. And honestly, in the camera, from what I can see out in the daylight, the color actually does look like it uh, matches my skin tone, which is a plus. So, Lego. In case anybody was wondering, the iron supplement that I picked up from GNC is the women's iron. Is it gonna focus? There we go. Women's iron complete. And like I said, my iron levels are down. So I decided to try this out. It has great reviews on um, the website. But yeah, if you have an iron deficiency, I would say check this out. Look at the reviews online. I don't really know how this turned into a vlogish type of video, but we're just gonna go with it. So yeah, let's carry on with the day. Right, okay, so I'm back home now. It's been a few hours. I was out in the elements with the wind and the heat and that's pretty much it. But it is now around five o'clock in the afternoon. I thought that I would do a little update on the foundation. So I do really do, re what? I really do like the foundation. Um, I am wearing blush and uh, I use the Laura Mercier finishing powder or translucent powder or whatever. And I think it's holding up really well. The only thing is I still don't know about the color. I feel like it could have a warmer undertone to it because when I first put it on, I mean, you saw on camera, I don't know if that was the camera or the lighting, but it didn't really match my skin tone. But now it looks like it has absorbed into my skin. It looks like it has really taken like to my color, but I feel like it's still a little bit ashy. So what I think I'm going to do if I use this again, well, I will use it again because I paid $30 for it, but I'm going to be mixing that along with the rest of my L'Oreal true match uh liquid foundation because that one definitely has a warmer undertone to it but so far so good i'm going to check back in with you guys later um yeah and i want to say that thank you to everybody that checked out my previous video which was the got to be glued video so many people are commenting on that i've gained subscribers off of that uh video so i want to say hi to all of the new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing and I want to do a little Q&A possibly coming up. So if you want to be part of that or if you want to ask me some questions, then make sure to follow my Instagram. It's always on the video somewhere or it's down in the description along with my Snapchat. But yeah, 
I will see you guys later. So, I just almost forgot to update you guys one more time. It is now uh, 8.51 in the evening, which means that I've had this on my face for about almost nine hours, eight to nine hours. So I think that it's pretty much a good time frame to let you guys know my thoughts. And personally, would I purchase this again? Yes, I would. Um, the only thing that I personally don't like about it is, like I said earlier, the undertone. I wish it was a little bit warmer, but I can obviously mix in another foundation to help with that. What I do like about this foundation is the full coverageness, full coverageness of it because it really does cover everything. When I was using the L'Oreal one, I would have to put on concealer first and then apply the foundation, but this one, definitely full coverage. If you are someone who likes a really matte foundation, this is not the one for you because it does have like a dewiness to it. It's semi-matte, like I said earlier, and it's semi-dewy, so it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Um, I don't feel like I'm wearing makeup. I know some foundations that are uh, full coverage are really heavy on the face. This one is definitely not heavy. And as far as like my blush, um, it didn't move, it stayed, my blush is still there. I feel like if I would have done a highlight and a contour, it would have also stayed and not moved or smudged anywhere. But overall, if you're thinking about trying this foundation, I say go ahead and try it. It's only $30 and at Ulta, if you don't like it, you can return it, so yeah. Um, I think that that's pretty much it for this video. I feel like this was a different type of initial review. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do like a vlog style initial review. But if you like this, let me know. Also let me know down in the comments if there are any other uh, products, beauty products, or anything that you want me to try out first before you go out and spend your money. I will gladly do so and make a video on that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video.